Okay. So, how you guys doing? I'm doing real good. I'm uh, recording with a different camera, so hopefully I have a very nice, clear picture. Uh, I'm using, I'm going to be making like a little ocean one. And this is about an eight long four no it was three and a half tall and four wide but that's from this rim so at least you get the idea <laughs> um today i'm going to be using the floral epoxy resin from the epoxy resin store and uh I'm really loving it so far because I'm getting like very little bubbles. And I actually like some bubbles in these because this is an ocean one. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some of the sailboat blue to this. And the first step is really easy, just letting it set. Have quite a bit here. You can go up to at least. Oh my goodness, three or four inches with this deep pour resin. So that's what I'm going to do is sit here and stir this. Okay. Okay, so as I go along, I'll just show you what I'm putting in there. And with this resin, you have to mix three to one by volume so I did that and I always forget to I do have a coupon code in my description uh, for the epoxy resin store and it's a nice little coupon code of savings so I would take advantage of that if you're ever interested in any type of resin I have always loved their uh, resin it is very very clear so this is the easy part, just pouring it in there. And then I'm just going to wait it out for probably, I would say, well, 12 hours. Then start adding some things. And I think it's the perfect blue. And that's the perfect amount for me, too. just getting that second layer to be the same color as the first yeah pretty much it works out that's it so what I do here is just make sure there's no air bubbles in the corners taking the stick going in there and look you know Scrape it too hard. This is a nice little mold, too. There was a bubble strap down there. I really like this mold. It was very nice, good condition. Let me turn this light on. That way I can see. Then I just hit that with the heat gun a little. And that's it. <laughs> Make sure there's no hairs or anything in it and let it come to get a little tacky. Then I'll put my uh, fish and stuff in there. Okay.
Okay. So I've been sitting here for about five minutes trying to get this out. My son had to help me. I uh, had a friend tell me that they're hard to get out. She was right. <laughs> but it's sliding out now. So give me a few minutes. And what I'm doing is pretty much pushing down from the bottom like this. And then he's pulling it at the same time. Okay. Okay, so I've been sitting here. I finally got it out. All I had to do basically was <clears throat> pull it from the sides and then stick my finger in there and unstick the, because it was so suctioned to it. And then finally I was able to fold it back. <laughs> um, so this has turned out awesome. And you know what's really, really awesome is it is nowhere is there a bubble. Nowhere. <laughs> I can't believe it. Nowhere. I'm like, I love this so much. Okay, so the light making it really hard to see. I'm gonna set it up against the white wall and see if it looks good with the light. Okay. So it looks so cool without the light on too. But yeah, that camera light just blinds it. You can't see nothing. So there, put it against the wall. Hopefully this will work better. And that's without the light on. My waves turned out super cool. I don't know how to get in close yet with this camera. See when I get in close, oh there. Well, it goes out of focus. Okay, turn it around. <laughs> the back looks really cool. you have to learn how to do this, camera. More. Nope, don't focus. See what happens if I zoom it in. It does seem to work better, but I can't sit still. Okay. All right, so enough of that. Now I'll go ahead and I'll turn on the light. Let me turn off these lights. God, I could have swore there was a moving in there. <laughs> no wrong button. Look at that, it's so cool. All the cool little bubbles, not too many. That's pretty neat. Oh, if I set it in the center of the camera, that's right. The waves are so good. <laughs> no droplets. Sideways, it's kind of 3D. It's kind of hard to see. Hold on. Is it coming in clear? Oh, it's just something you have to be in person.
turned out really good though. That's cool. I'm not taking pictures. <laughs> it's gonna be the tricky part. Okay, so I hope I'm getting good pictures for y'all. It's not easy. Um, I think the photos will be better. But that's what the light in the background. It's tricky doing it with for these molds that you see through. And I think it, if I had a darker background, it would be better than this white. But I got to mess around. This is as good as I can get. And so <clears throat> I'm a little hoarse. Well, that's it. It sure is awesome. Very beautiful. Super neat. Just hope it's coming in clear for you. Hard to get a good shot of those waves, but they are neat. That's so cool. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this one. Um, Let's see. I wonder how heavy it is. I'll put the weight in here when I'm editing. Okay? So, yeah, it's about eight... I'll even measure it and put that in here, too. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching. My throat is hoarse tonight. So, it probably sounds pretty uh, raspy. Well, thank you again. Have yourself a great week. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.